Welcome back to CTS Weekender. I'm Drew Marshall, and uh, prior to this break, we were chatting with uh, Michael Seaman, who is uh, basically Mr. Heritage Canada, and we're kind of keeping on the theme of Canada. The documentary we saw earlier tonight was called Made in Canada, and, uh, you know, it highlighted some really successful people in their careers and how they made an impact not only in our country but around the world. Uh, and, uh, you know, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, maybe his first television appearance ever, uh, the artist formerly known as Tal Backman, Mr. Ian Starglow, uh, on, the, on the uh, CTS Weekender Show. Ian, uh, how are you today, this fine sunny day? Fantastic, Drew. Great to speak to you again. Right, right now, um, now uh, the first thing that strikes me is that you're, you, you speak a different language now. You're, I don't understand the accent. Where did that come from? Well, actually, I'm English now. You're English so. now? Yeah, I mean, being Canadian didn't really work for me, did it? So no. I decided to become English. I don't understand why, why you would do such a thing. Why didn't being Canadian work for you? A lot of reasons, but basically I got to a point in my life where I realised, you know, I saw Chastity Bono and all these people getting sex change operations, and I decided that I would have not a sex change operation, you know, not quite like being male, no, yeah. but that I would get a complete identity transformation, so... I'm not really Tal anymore. Wow. So uh, what was wrong with Tal Backman? I mean, you know, he's the son <laughs> of Randy Backman, Mr. BTO, uh, uh, guess who? Uh, you know, what was wrong with Tal Backman? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I think that the trouble with Tal is he tried to do everything right, you know, tried to do everything right, you know, family man and all that, and, you know, nice chap and all, but, you know, it didn't really work, did it? So. Mm, mm. You know, one thing led to another, and but, you but, know, but now, Tal, and in, now and in Canada, yeah. Tal, you're a well, Juno. I mean, sorry, uh, the artist. By the way, it's Ian. It's, it's Ian. Ian. I, the artist formerly yeah. known as as Tal uh, Backman. Mm -hmm. You're Ian Starglow. You, uh, Tal Backman won a Juno yeah. Award. Is that not good enough, man? Uh, you know, it was it was nice. It was fleetingly nice, but you know, I mean, it's like you know, Juno is you know. Not bad, but you know it's still Canada, right? You know, it's still a bit yeah, beely. But that's, so. that's that hurts us, Tal. I uh, mean, uh, Ian, whatever the heck your name is, uh, that hurts us, man. We we we. we by like, the way, yes. By the way, Mr. S Mr. Starglow would be fantastic. I'm sorry, Mr. Starglow. My my apologies, you, Mr. Starglow. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 as Canadians, a Juno should be good enough. I mean, what are you after? A Grammy? Is that what you're after? Yeah, you know, Grammys, Brit Awards, things like that. You know, Juno's nice. You know, it's a bit of a stepping stone, though, isn't it? You know. You're... So, you know, I'm here now, I've got a new project, you know, and I was in, I'm, I'm basically, you know, another thing is I'm in the process of erasing my history as Tal, so it won't be long before, you know, I I was never Tal, you know, and the, the Junos don't really matter anymore, so I'm listen, starting listen, I'm, clean slate. I'm it's actually, fresh. I'm actually, a, I'm getting a little upset by this because it, it actually, I hearken back to the likes of one named William Shatner, who, uh, mm. who left this great country to become mm. big, and uh, he became big, and now we're welcoming him back to Canada it, like like there was no issue in the past. He left us, he deserted us. Yeah, but, but, but they all leave, don't they? I mean, you've got to leave, don't you? You know, Neil Young left, Christopher Plummer left, you know, they, they all leave, basically. Brian Adams has gone, you know, so why shouldn't Tal leave? Wow. Not only leave, but cease to exist, you know? And by the way, I mean, that song, you know, what it's song? been driving me crazy. What song? But she's she's so high. I mean, it's been driving me crazy for twelve years. Twelve know? years. And that, yeah, it's like enough already. You know, I've had enough. You know. Tal, listen. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm very happy with who I am now. Mr. Starglow, um, if if you were to give a message to any Canadian artists these days, any Canadian singer songwriters, what would you say to them? I, I'm I'm going to have to say honestly to quit. You know, there's basically no chance that you're going to make it at all anywhere. And, and really hardly any chance that you'll make it in Canada, you know. So it's, it's, a, it's a bleak world, you know, a vast wasteland of nothingness, basically, is the music industry now. So I, I would say just, you know, go to vocational school, you know, trade school. Right. So, right. Yeah. Uh, go to trade school. You would say that to, to, to the I would light. say trade school. You know, plumbers make a great living. You know, it's not for me. Mr. You know, Starglow, I'm, seriously, know. Mr. Starglow, listen to me. Just focus just for a second, please. Yeah. Look. Uh, your former identity, Tal Backman, uh, Rolling yeah. Stone, Entertainment Weekly, Billboard magazines yeah. all raved about you. You appeared on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, the American Music Awards. You presented with a scantily clad Britney Spears. You were even, That's correct. You were, That's even right, on, yeah. you were even on Melrose Place, young man. 
What was wrong with that career? As a Canadian, well, that was... that's, isn't that the epitome of it, where you succeed in all these American things? It was nice, you know, but it was fleeting, wasn't it? You know, it was nice, I did everything right, and then everything collapsed. I had a few problems with women, you know, well, with one one woman in particular. Not that I'm saying anything bad about her. She's no. a wonderful woman in different sorts of ways. You know, you can erase that later. <laughs> Came out a bit wrong, you know, just edit it. But, you know, it was great when it lasted. I was the first person to see Britney scantily clad, mm. actually, at the American Music Awards. But that was a very long time ago, and I'm not that person anymore. I'm Mr. Starglow now. So I'm very happy with who I am. And, yes, I'm starting again. But what? seriously, what's, hap what's happened in the last 10 years with oh. this Tal Backman character? Nothing. Listen, Jack well, squat, so you know. are you saying that Tal Backman is, was a one-hit wonder? It was a Mr. failure. One-hit wonder? Well, absolutely. Well, of course he was, you know, an absolute failure. You know? I mean, to have one hit, you know, it's an achievement, but, you know, it's just one, you know, and it's sort of Mr. like, you Mr. know, one at bat, one at bat, hit a home run, and then you can never quite get a bat again. So. Mr. Starglow, listen, what yeah. would you say to Tal Backman's father, Randy Backman? I mean, you know, the, the entire country well, is proud of this man. Are, are we not, as Canadians, over, standing uh, up over Mr. Over, Randy Backman? Well, you know, he did all right, didn't he? Right. You know, he, he did all right, you know, so more power to him. But, you know, his progeny haven't done that well, have they? You know? I think... I mean, I, you know, Tal Backman was four minutes away from oblivion, you know, complete obscurity. Right. Four minutes away. And it wasn't even four minutes. It was one 20-second chorus, wasn't yeah. it? So, yeah. So 20 seconds away from total anonymity. Can, so, can I just say, listen, just stop, yeah. stop the charade for a second. Really, stop the charade. This is ridiculous. This is not the Tal Backman I know. You are still Tal Backman. You are still a wonderfully, genuine, lovely Canadian man. And this ridiculous American thing that you think you have to be, and you're not even American, you're a British guy or no. something, uh, no. and you think that's going to win you? Come on, Mr. Backman, I say stand up and be proud. Stand up and be Canadian. Well, I, you know, I can't. I'm, not, I'm no longer that, that person anymore. And by the way, I've hired an expert team of psychiatrists to help I, me with I this. would hope so, They've yes. done complete personality destruction. I've brought in a few military guys, you know, that do basic training, break you down, build you back up. So I'm, it's sort of a $6 million man type thing, but it's personality-wise. So. Canadians do not like Mr. Starglow. That's what I say. Well, Canadians you know, but you know, Canada like... is a, Canada's a fringe colony. You know, it's very inconsequential in so many ways, you know. I'm not very, I'm, not even B League. It's C or D or E League. You know, I'm not very, happy with the way this very is going. Uh, this very is, ECHL, you know. I East find Coast you, Hockey League. Uh, Mr. Starglow, I find you very offensive, and I and I plead with you to give us the real Tal Backman. Give us the once he's gone, great, he's, the once he's great. Been <laughs> he's been extinguished. You know. I don't know oh. what to tell you, mate. You know. Yeah. But I can maybe pass a question on. It's very, you know, all about Eve, three faces of Eve, Eve multiple personality disorders. So yeah. I could maybe pass it on through psychiatrists, mediums, and you know, working with various mediums. They call Look, up I, different I want to speak directly to our, uh, to our viewers at home. <laughs> this, is, this is an affront to all of our, uh, our uh, whatever things could be, this is an affront to. Uh, Mr. Tal... By the way, yes? Go ahead. Yeah, don't. Well, I thought we were going to talk about Jesus or whatever it is. <laughs> no, I want to. I want to tell our viewers, look, the real reason we had Mr. Tal Backman, and don't be fooled by this Ian Starglow character. The real reason we had Mr. Tal Backman on our show was to talk about what a great Canadian man he is, still residing in Canada, living right. on Vancouver Island, having been born in Winnipeg, and having made a successful career uh, around the world. Of course, down in the United States, where apparently things are received better. But I don't think if you don't you don't need to be this man. You don't need to dress like this or act like this or talk like this. This is not Canadian. This is not cool. I'm ashamed. Well, I'm, not, I'm ashamed of you, I'm, Mr. Starglow. I'm not really quite following you, but I mean, what's Canada given me in the last 10, 11, 12 years anyway? Right. You know? Even when I was Tao, I couldn't even get arrested by these chaps running the Canadian music industry. They all said no to me. The only reason that I ever got anywhere or that Tao ever got anywhere was because of Americans, you know. I went to New York City, BMI Publishing, Columbia Records. They were fantastic. And then, of course, it was all the Canadian chaps in Toronto. Oh, we were with you the whole time. We helped develop you. They didn't help develop me at all. I don't want to name names, you know. Yeah. No, but you I, I would like to very much. But, you know, they never did anything. And then it was all like, we helped you. You're so fantastic. Great. You know, we were in on this. And then as soon as things imploded in the United States, the Canadians went right back to saying no, didn't they? They never gave me the time of day. 
I you, still don't. You're you know? just you're you just sound bitter. So, you really yeah, sound bitter. It's just re you know, well, it's just realistic. You know, it's not so much bitterness; it's just reality. It's what happened. You know, they love the tragically hip types. You know, listen, they're love been, the, they're they love the pursuit of happiness, but they don't like anyone. That is just you know, just tells them to you know you can edit that bit, but you know, just you know. Yeah. I understand. You're bitter. You know, explains to them what they are, you know. You're bitter, Tal. You know, they're followers, you know. Listen, I'm going to keep no. calling you Tal because I can't stand this Ian Star Glow character. And I think of great Canadians like Jean Vanier, Romeo Dallaire, uh, even guys like Don Cherry, Bruce Colburn. Well, I've, never heard, I've never heard of those people. You you know, never heard of, you've never heard of Bruce Colburn? I've no, I'm from the UK now. All right. Mate, yeah. you know, I, I've, I've never even heard of these people. But by the way, you might not like, you might not like Ian. But the girls love them. You know, right. They can't say no. Yeah. So, you know, there's no big loss, is it? Well, look, I want to apologize to our viewers for, for all of this. Uh, we, we tried to get the point across that Canadians are proud. Uh, Canadians are proud of, what, of our homegrown products like Tal Backman, like Randy Backman, uh, like so many people who have, uh, are, have come through the, the music industry and have kind of uh, been a success elsewhere in the world. And I just, I just want to get rid of this guy, Ian Starglow or whatever his name is. So forget it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back with more of CTS Weekender. You tell. Is it?